around uh, Tumblr and Facebook and other social media outlets of a girl that made a DIY pizza highlighter and I mean this highlighter is gorgeous this girl did such an amazing job and I was like okay yeah like I love pizza don't get me wrong like I love me some pizza but I love donuts donuts, donuts. like donuts are my thing <laughs> When I was pregnant with my daughter, I ate so many donuts. This is why I got so fat. <laughs> I ate too many donuts when I was pregnant. But I thought I should DIY a donut highlighter because why wouldn't I want to look like I have donut glaze all over my face? Like, goals. When I walk outside, I want my cheekbones to send flash signals to aliens in outer space. I just want to glow my whole face. Just just douse me in highlighter. I want my whole body, just make my clothes. Can you make my clothes into like highlight? Like I want everything to be highlighted. So obviously I would make a DIY highlighter and why not take it a step further and make it a pink rainbow sprinkle donut highlighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did that and let's get started. Okay, to start I have just an empty makeup container here. This is an old bronzer. I'm actually gonna use this um, for part of the donut, but I just cleaned it out here. I sanitized it with alcohol. So I'm gonna put my new highlighter in here. And then I also just have some little bowls that we're gonna use for mixing. And also 91% rubbing alcohol. It's important that you get the 91% because this is the antibacterial one. So make sure you get the highest percentage. I just picked this one up at Walmart too. And then I am using an assortment of old highlighting products. This is a new one that I just bought, but I bought this for this DIY. But these are some old ones that I have, and I'm also gonna use some old eyeshadows and things that I had laying around for the sprinkles. And everything that I'm using, I made sure that it was glitter-based or sparkly. I don't know if you can see that, but. This is a baked eyeshadow from e.l.f., so I'm gonna use this, and just make sure everything is sparkly based because we are making a highlighter, so obviously we want it to highlight and sparkle. So I am going to go ahead and get started mixing the frosting portion. So I have my mixing bowl here, and I'm going to use this um, highlighting blush that I bought at Walmart. This is my camera is not focusing. There we go. This is just a hard candy brand um, highlighter, highlighting blush, glow, ombre baked blush in the shade punch. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. And I'm just gonna use a pair, an old pair of tweezers that I have, and I'm gonna start scraping some of this color out. I'm just gonna use a little baby spoon to really smush all that blush up. This is such a pretty color, I love this color. Okay, so now that that is crushed up, I'm going to go ahead, oops, I'm making a mess, and add some of our alcohol. You don't wanna add too much at this point, you just want it to be like a paste. Ooh, I'm making a mess. Oops, we just want it to be thick enough to where it forms a paste so we can mold it. I think that's a little too thick. I'm just gonna add a splash more. Oh gosh, that was way too much. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually pretty happy with this. Let me see if I can swatch with this a little. Ooh, that is so pink, uh-oh. Oh, but it's pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay. I'm down with that. That's really pretty. 
All right, I'm good with it, let's go. So, now because we're gonna do like a donut shape, obviously, I am going to use a water bottle cap as my kind of, I guess, center of the donut because I wanna use a different color, like a brown color, like the middle of a donut, like the actual, you know, cake part of the donut. So we're gonna mix that color up next, but I'm gonna use this in the meantime so it'll be like a mold and leave this part empty. So, let me put that there. I hope I made enough. That's gonna stink if this isn't enough. This pan is so shallow though. Uh, now, I'm gonna let that just sit for a little bit. Just put it off to the side over here. And I'm going to mix the center part. I have this little chunk of makeup from the bronzer that um, was in here. This is way too big of a chunk, so I'm gonna try, I guess, to just break a little piece off. And I feel like that is going to be too dark, so I'm going to mix it with this e.l.f. baked eyeshadow. And this one is called Enchanted. I think I'm gonna add some of this kind of gold color right here to help lighten it up a little bit. This one's called London Calling. This was from like a big Too Faced palette. I mean, this was from so long ago. Okay, let's try some of this. This, again, is like a really old eyeshadow palette that I've had for, I don't even know how long. This is really old. I'm gonna try to use some of this light kind of cream color right here to help lighten this up a little bit. It's like too brown. But these are drugstore products, so they're not that pigmented. Oh yeah, look at that. that you can't even see that. Can you see that color right there? I think it'll be okay. That looks really light. It just looks so dark here. But I think it'll be okay. So I'm just gonna roll with it. And we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh, I put so much alcohol. I'm just ruining this. This looks like soup. Oh my goodness. Can this get any worse? I don't think so. Let me put some more of that woo, powder in to try to soak up some of that alcohol. Now, I am scared to take this thing out because Oh my goodness. Okay, whew, it's not so bad. Now, I just have to carefully scoop this in there. And this is all where it's gonna go horribly wrong and I'm gonna ruin it. Cause that's how things happen here. Oh my gosh, that is so brown. Ew. It's too big too. That looks disgusting. That looks like a poop. Looks like a butthole. Maybe once we put the sprinkles on it, it'll look better. It looks like a butthole. I'm kind of like really underwhelmed here. My butthole DIY. We're gonna make a DIY butthole highlighter. Don't you just wanna rub that on your face? For the sprinkle colors, I thought we could use you know what, I think I'm just gonna use this. This is another really old product. It's Kat Von D um, brand pigment. 
I don't even think Kat Von D sells pigments anymore. <laughs> like this is another really, really old product. And I'm gonna use some of this CoverGirl eyeshadow. It's got some chunky glitter pieces in there. I'm like panicking now, my, my battery's dying. Mixing it with the alcohol and that looks pretty good. And now I am going to use a toothpick to put the sprinkles on. I'm gonna press it down once I'm finished, like putting everything, all the details on. So I'm not too concerned about like the pink looking uneven and kind of and all the sprinkles kind of sticking up 3D because I'm gonna press it all when I'm done. This isn't working. That looks pretty good. That's what we got so far. I think it's looking good. So now let's do maybe some blue sprinkles. Okay, so I'm going to use this. This is a Clinique eyeshadow. I actually got this um, when I was working at a salon. If For those that didn't know or don't know me personally, I am a retired hairdresser. I used to do hair and I worked at a, I've worked at many salons, but this salon for Christmas, they kind of gave us like a fun grab bag and this is one of the colors that was in there and it's from Clinique and it's got like bronzer on it. This is, I, I'm not a blue eyeshadow person. Like some people look beautiful with blue eyeshadow but for whatever reason, like it doesn't, I don't think it looks good on me. I'm gonna use just a smidge of this cause this is kind of green but when you swatch it, it almost, it like changes to a blue. So I think that will be really pretty. Okay, sorry, my camera battery died. So I just, while my battery was charging, I just went ahead and finished the sprinkles. I did the green kind of, they kind of turned green, but they're supposed to be like a blue green color, I guess, whatever. I did that, finished those green sprinkles, and then I also tried to mix up like some white sprinkles. And I know that it looks really ugly right now, but we are going to press it. So, to do that, I'm gonna use this paper towel, and then you're gonna need another paper towel to press it with. So when we press it, um, your makeup's gonna have whatever design is on your paper towel. So, I mean, you don't have to use a paper towel. You could just use, you know, something in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press it with this smaller highlighter because it fits in the pan. It looks like it's gonna fit in there nicely. You just want something flat that you can kind of press down so it's gonna apply even pressure. You could just use this so it will be flat, but I wanna use the paper towel I think it will help even out some of this, but before we press it, I am going to use a spray bottle. This is my crafting spray bottle, so it has paint from my upholstery DIY all over it, but I just put my 91% alcohol in here, and I am just going to try to lightly mist it. And kinda try to get it to flatten out, even out a little bit. I think that's good. Okay. Now, I'm gonna take my other highlighter here and I'm just gonna set it in there and press to help flatten it all out, hopefully make it look even. I'm crossing my fingers that this is gonna work. Okay. I don't know. It pressed it down, like it's definitely pressed down, but it's not pressed down enough, so. Let me try one more time. So I'm gonna use this um, MAC blush 
just because it's a little bit smaller and I think it's going to press it a little bit nicer. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. I don't know if you can see. This camera is like picking up the sparkles kind of weird. I hope you can see that okay. But now I'm just gonna go around the edge and try to kind of clean up that messy lip. But I think it pressed okay. It's all even now. It literally looks like a decorated butthole. It looks so gross. <laughs> I don't like, I think that water bottle cap that I used for the center was a little bit too big, but it still looks good, so we're gonna roll with it, but word of caution, if you're gonna do this yourself, I would say maybe try to find something a little bit smaller or just get a, a bigger makeup pan to use, like a, a bigger sized pan. I thought this one was pretty big, but I should've got a bigger one. I need like Jeffree Star sized highlighter pants. <laughs> I don't know, I think I'm gonna try to press it one more time. I'm too like OCD for this. This lip, I don't know if you can see, the stinking lip right here, it's gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna try to press it just one more time. Okay. Come on. Work. Work, 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 work. Um, Whatever, I'm just gonna leave it. I feel like if I keep pressing it, I'm gonna like make all my sprinkles and stuff go away. So I'm just gonna leave it. And I'm just gonna let it set overnight and I will come back tomorrow when it's dry and we will swatch it and see how it turned out. Okay, so here is the finished donut highlighter. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. It is so sparkly, like it's hard to get it on camera because it is literally so sparkly. And if I could do this over again, one thing I think that I would do differently is not make the center hole so big because it looks like a hashtag butthole. Like we just did a hashtag DIY butthole. <laughs> it's like a decorated butthole <laughs> with sprinkles on it. It is so sparkly and so pretty. This is, um, it dried, I let it dry overnight and I think it just turned out really pretty. And I asked my son this morning, I was like, hey Cole, what do you think this looks like? And he said a donut, so yes. I think mission accomplished. If my six year old can identify that it's a donut, <laughs> then I've accomplished it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and so watch this guy. So, Gonna rub it all around. Ooh, it is so pretty. That's what. So there's a swatch of it on my finger, and if I can, I will just swatch it right here. Oh, you can't like see that. Oh, there you go. There you can see it. You can see the glitter. It is so pretty. This turned out really good, actually. I'm super excited. So I did my makeup this morning and I don't have any highlighter on. I kind of feel naked. I feel like I am not complete because I don't have my highlighter on. So let's go ahead and apply the donut highlighter and see how it looks. For the purposes of this swatch, I am going to use just a regular brush here. I'm gonna apply it that way and then I'm gonna try it with the Beauty Blender to see the difference that it makes there. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys in. We're getting up close and personal. Okay, so let me go ahead. And I'm just like taking the whole thing. I'm not picking one side or the other. It's kind of like really powdery. I don't know if you can see that, it's pretty powdery, but Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. See that? Who can't see that? I mean, seriously, I'm, this is 
I'm gonna signal some airplanes in a second with this highlight. Whoo, girl, yes. I already have an eyebrow highlight going on, but I might as well intensify it a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Like seriously, hello. I love that it's like a little bit pink and I think the purple sprinkles kind of accentuate it. It's like a mermaid unicorn highlighter. Yes, this is beautiful. I think this is gonna be my new highlighter. So let me go ahead and try applying on the other side of my face with the damp beauty blender. So just kind of go all over here. Oh look, you can kind of see, I don't know, <laughs> on the beauty blender it kind of picked up some of the sprinkle colors. Alright, well. Ooh. I'm gonna put a little bit on my forehead too. When I normally apply my highlight, I usually hit uh, right above my eyebrows, down the center, like right here on the bridge of my nose, and then I'll leave a little gap and then hit the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and then my cheekbones. Like if I could bathe my entire face in highlighter, I'm pretty sure that I would, but that's not socially acceptable, so. <laughs> I try to limit. Oh, this is so pretty. Hopefully you guys can see that, okay. Oh, look at that, damn. Hello, mermaid. Hello, rainbow sprinkles. <laughs> so if any of you guys recreate this donut highlighter, make sure you tag me on social media. I will go ahead and leave the link to all my social media accounts down below. And if you are not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more fun videos from me. I am planning to do some more DIY makeup videos, so make sure you stay tuned. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! DIY butthole. <laughs> Hashtag decorated butthole. <laughs>